evening, internet friends. How are we doing today? And yes, I've got the hair of Hagrid going on today. You're a wizard, Harry. What if I did a femme version of Hagrid? Well, I'd be the smallest freaking Hagrid in the entire universe. Oh, well, I tend to play characters that are way bigger than me, but whatever. So, how are we doing? The dogs aren't in here right now. They're with my parents downstairs, which is good because I was working on this. This is for, okay, you guys can't really see because there's my blanket, but this is a black robe. Um, I actually got it from a friend, and I have put Velcro on it, and one of them has yellow squares and one has blue squares. Um, if you've ever seen the meme with the bird that says, let me smash, please, this is, that's what I'm making. I am making the cosplay of that bird. Because, you know, he has, you want some blue you want some yellow, yellow and blue. Um, I got the rest of the costume figured out. The only thing I need to do, or only things, I need a makeup test. And then I plan on making a sign that says, Lemma Smash, please. And on the other side will be a sign for my other cosplay that says, Have you seen my son? So, this is what I've spent my night doing while kind of listening to vlogs. So, fun times. Um, but... I hung out with Lakota today, and it was a lot of fun. So, she came over. We literally hung out at my house for a while, and then went to Coolidge Park. We went to this salon where they they do, like, something about, like, figuring out which chakras need what aromatherapy or something like that. It was actually pretty nifty. Though, Lakota thought it was weird because... Almost all the essential oil smells smelled very similar to me. I don't know why, because they all had different ingredients, but they all smelled the same. So, maybe my nose is broken, I don't know. Boop. And then we went to a used bookstore, which had a dog. Yes! Her name was Ella, and I got to give her a cookie. She kind of was snappy, though. Kind of like how MRL is, just like snaps at a treat, so... The owner's like, she just bit you. And I'm like, nah, I'm used to it. My puppy does this to me all the time. Um, and turns out one of the owners is the mother of a cosplay friend that I met two years ago. Because I was buying a book and she was like, wait, you look familiar. Actually, yeah, you met my daughter two years ago. And I was like, oh, really? Um, I haven't really spoken to her daughter in a while, so that was nice. Um... I bought a book called The Devils in the Details, and it's a really fascinating book. It's a memoir about this woman growing up with severe OCD. What did she call it? Scrupulosity or something? Basically religious OCD. Where, I haven't finished reading it yet, but so far it seems that like almost, almost every law that's like in the Bible or in Jewish texts, she goes by. And her, because her OCD makes her. Like an example, if there's even the smell of pork in her house, she washes everything she owns in the washing machine. Not just clothes, but also shoes, barrettes, backpacks, like anything that could be in the washer. Um, I'm finding it to be really fascinating, actually. Um, I have a couple other books about mental illness. One of them is It's a Funny Story, which is about a guy who gets put in a mental hospital after he called a suicide hotline saying that he was going to kill himself and he has severe anxiety which that's always fun and then skin and bones which is about a guy who is in an eating disorder clinic with anorexia and just the interesting things that happens because his roommate has binge eating disorder and there's a girl that also has anorexia but you know I'm not gonna do any of that I'm not going to spoil anything for you guys. Um, but those were really fascinating books. I really like them. And I haven't finished The Devils in the Details yet, but I'm really liking it. Like, I've known some about how OCD works, because honestly, I do believe I have OCD. But not, of course, not to her level, no. But I think my... I mean, I've always felt like I have OCD tendencies, I'm pretty sure I have dermatillomania, which is a form of OCD, where it's a lot of skin picking. I pick at my face a lot. 
And sometimes I think you guys can tell in the vlogs I'll look like I have scabs on my face. So ch I think they've cleared up. Well, there's that one. Uh, might be a scar. But um, if I look like I have scabs on my face and I think that I look like a meth head, that's why. <laughs> so, I don't know. My psychiatrist said that I didn't, that it was just severe anxiety. But I don't know. I need to do that at some point. I need to find a psychiatrist in my area. But so far, there's only been one that I found that... Of course, every one of them that I call, they're like, Oh, you need a referral. And I'm like, well, I need to know if you will actually take me before I can ask my doctor to refer me because, you know, he's five hours away. Um, this one was the only one who was accepting new patients and could take my insurance. So, yay. I might need to call and get referred again because I've not heard anything back from this psychiatrist and I am almost out of Prozac so goody that is my main like anxiety medicine that I take the buspirone I take like throughout the day as more of a keep anxiety at bay kind of thing though sometimes it upsets my stomach and makes it feel really acidic and I think it's doing that now um but we'll see um but yeah, I'm almost, I have no more refills for Prozac, and I really need to get that refilled, so, goody. I'll have to call my psychiatrist tomorrow, which, because of the hospital phone system, it's an absolute pain in the butt. Oh, fun fact, the, one of the last times that I went to see him, um, the receptionist seriously thought that I drove five hours to see him, and I'm like, heh, no, not at all. I would not drive five hours just for a doctor's visit. Um, but I mean, I probably should also look for psychiatrists in the Chattanooga area, because that's close to where I live, um, since I've only seen one in my hometown that would work, but I will just see. Uh, finding a new psychiatrist is stressful, and you guys know that I've been dealing with a lot of stress anyway with job searching and life and just, huh. Yes, that was a very, very attractive face, and you know it. Ha <laughs> And of course, now my anxiety is worrying about training with Emeril because I've laid off his training for a little bit just because of, you know, him recovering from being neutered. But now his stitches look fantastic, and I think it's time to get him back to speed on training. Well, maybe not speed, because obviously we don't need to, like, speed up everything. Um... I need to work on his heel training so bad. His heel is terrible. <coughs> but, um, the rest of his stuff, his tasks, he can do very well. His basics. I also need to work with him. He's been barking excessively lately, and it's really, really annoying. My dad thinks it's a great thing. He's like, oh, he's being a guard dog. He's guarding the house. And I'm like, this is not what we have him for. He's my service dog. And while I think barking at home is okay, I'm like, you know, he's a dog at home. The excessive amount of barking he's doing is really irritating. Which luckily, he has not barked in public, though he's almost had it. So I really did work on that. Um, hashtag, I sound like the worst dog trainer in the world. Yay. Ooh, what else happened today? Lakota and I ate at this place called Thai Garden. Which was okay. It's like a Thai Chinese restaurant. I wasn't too impressed with it, but I mean, it was good. Um, I had a thought. What was? It? Oh yeah, I finally bought my ticket for MomoCon. Yay! So now I just gotta get my cosplay finished. The Red Lion cosplay is pretty much done. Um, I may do a little editing with the makeup. Let me see if Caitlyn has red eyeshadow. I don't know. I'll see what I do. Um. But of course, I need to get the Lemmy Smash Bird done. Which, pretty much, the rest of the costume is just, like, clothes that I have and one of my wigs. But, I need to make the sign and I need to do my makeup test, so. Yay, life of a cosplayer. Um. But, yeah. So, I know this is, like, a one-shot vlog kind of thing. Because, like, my day's been so busy today. Like, I even got the vlog up late, as you guys could tell. 
but welcome to life. Oh, and I saw that Faces of Mental Illness is doing awesome! Woo! Again, congrats to all of you guys who participated. You guys are awesome, and you are the reason for the success of this video. All I did was put it together, but without you guys, there wouldn't have been a video. So, yay! Good job, you guys! High five! Woo! There's some Jacksepticeye in there. Top of the morning, dear laddies! Thumbs up if you know who Jacksepticeye is. I have mentioned him probably a million times in my vlogs by now, but oh well. Um, but now, I'm going to sign off for the night and probably continue watching YouTube before I go to bed. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Uh, question of the day is... Tell me what one of your favorite books is. It could be about mental illness or it could not be about mental illness. So far my favorite book about mental illness is Skin and Bones. But my favorite book of all time probably has to be Storm Thief. It is just wonderful. So put your answers down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!